I think it's a good thing that I'm filming this on Thursday before the Game Awards. Hello everyone, welcome to Addie's at Gaming Time. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, stuff from this week and stuff from last week. But in most importantly, I do have updates at the end of this video. Um, yeah, here's the intro. Star Wars Battlefront 2. So, last week we talked about Genos has been, a, been added to other smaller modes, but that was not just all. Arcade, there was basically, Ben Walker said that there will be more to come about Arcade in 2019, because the, the community, they know that the community wants more, so they're going to do something about that. Now, the thing is, is that the new large scale game mode coming in February of 2019, one, there's no name for it. Two, they have not confirmed if it's multiplayer or a offline thing. And those are the, basically the two things. So until we hear other word about that, maybe it could be, maybe it not. But it's good to see that they are acknowledging Arcade. They're acknowledging all of this. Because it still needs more work onto it. Anyway. Also... You may have seen that there's a battle point glitch there is, and you may have heard other YouTubers talking about it. Well, I will say that Ben Wok has said that they will be having a fix. Now, there's a temporary fix for the December update that they'll be disabling the battle point points where you basically spawn, but if another player spawns on you, you get points. That will be disabled just until the January update where they should have a fix for it. It's terrible. I've seen it from my own eyes. And now finally, the community calendar is out. Now, there is an event going on this week which will be a Blast and Strike Trooper event there will be. It's not on the calendar, but yeah. Now, what else is on the calendar? Well, you've got the, you've got the December update. And then you've also got some other ones. You've got the Returns of Hero, Heroes Unleashed. You have also got a new event called Life Day. And you've got another one called Power Unlimited Power. It'll be interesting to see how these events goes. Um, uh, yeah, that's it for Battlefront 2. So last week I was going to talk about Rock and Superman. But since then, updates have occurred. So I decided not to put it in. But... Rocksteady have confirmed that one, they won't be at the Game Awards like you've probably already seen and two, the game that they're making is not a Superman game but with an, in an article that was an interview with one of the people that work at Rocksteady they've basically said, give us a hint of that it could be a hero group game from what I remember, Lee uh, correct me down below in the comments, but anyway so it's interesting to see that they're going to be not making a Superman game, but they're making something of like a Hero DC game. This is the only information that we've got so far, so it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. WB Montreal. Now, months ago, I reported on that Kevin Conroy, the voice actor of Batman, basically said that WB Montreal won't be making any Batman games. Well, that, but it looks like that was a complete lie. Or, one of the people who work at WB Montreal did confirm that there were other projects in the works, but I'm afraid that got completely cancelled. And, and he also said that there was about six years of this work thrown down the drain. But now, something new has come up. And that, yes, they are making a Batman Arkham game, and it could be about the Court of Owls, and we could see something about it a bit more in 2019. But even though this is coming from official people and it's coming from this and that, this project, like any other project, could be cancelled, could be thrown away, could never really get refilled in 2019. We could wait another five to ten years for something to be refilled, and nothing could not get refilled. Now, I brought Batman Arkham Knights for when the Black Friday sale was on. Reason being, because I do miss the Batman. I do. But the fact that they're 
from Campbell Combo I say um, that WB Montreal is not making another Batman game to yeah now I know a Batman game is happening it's like one of like Rocksteady they've got Superman and this but with this game with this Warner Brothers Montreal it's like they can't decide of what they really want to do because if they cancel something or why was the game bad was this bad or can the lead directors or the managers can kind of decide between Suicide Squad to Batman to Justice League to all of this stuff and now they're coming round to Batman Arkham so make your mind up with Fortnite and something I don't report on at all um, but I will do this now now Fortnite Season 7 has started and we could officially say this will be the holiday season for you. Now a new mode is coming and from look from the menus it looks to be something completely different to Battle Royale and all the modes inside that and including the campaign. It's called Fortnite Creative. Now it's not available just yet, you can buy it for the Battle Pass but it is still in early access until December. 12th. Now, would I be trying this out? Well, if I can go there alone without anyone needed to come with me, then of course I will because I'm a single player guy and I don't have friends. But that's not just all. With Fortnite Season 7, in the previous season, there was a mini Wreck It Wealth Easter egg in there. Or basically, wealth from wealth breaks the internet. It was just something I just wanted to throw out there because I thought it was quite cool. But no, it's quite cool as Thanos. So you may have heard that Battlefield 5 did have its update this week. Its first live service update. But before then, it got delayed when it eventually did come out on December 5th. Now, as usual, people were angry. There was a downfall. It was this, it was that. Not really, they just found a bug last minute and there we go. Yes, it was frustrating, but eventually we did get it. But even still, people complained that it was basically too much content. I have never thought anyone would complain about this. But, look, to be honest, I do quite like the practice range. It may not be much, you may find it boring, but stop having high expectations for things. They've said that they will be doing more to practice range and it looks like they could be like there's I go around there and it looks like to be mini practice teasers but I haven't tried out the new chapter because I still need to complete the other ones but so far the update is quite fine to me I do quite enjoy it I'm quite thankful that practice range is here now instead of it being in like two weeks later but anyway it's here and we've still got more to go for 2019. For Life is Strange though the issue 2 that was supposed to be coming out this month has been delayed to come out in the 2nd of January and also the collection has a different month release and that is going to be in May of 2019. Now, also, I recognise that Life is Strange Issue 2 is coming out in January. And Life is Strange 2, Episode 2, is coming out in January. So, so are you telling me that they only delayed Issue 2 to come out the same time as Life is Strange 2, Episode 2 comes out? I hope this, if it's not that, it's fine. But if it is, then, well, we, like, come on, just come on. The final thing with gaming news, Injustice, Injustice 2 Mobile, 1, 2, 3, action. Injustice 2 Mobile for Aquaman, the film, will be having a new character, and this will be the Aquaman. Now, this is the only thing that's been revealed for Injustice 2 Mobile. I'm not too sure if anything else will be coming, but the Aquaman movie character will be coming to the game coming soon. There's no release date on it, but I just wanted to let you know if you still play the mobile game of Injustice 2.